In this video, I'm going to show you a couple different ways of creating buttons in Storyboard Designer. Let's start with a new application. I'm just going to give this a project name of Button Demo. Uh, and then we'll go to the next screen and let's just use the standard 800 by 480, hit finish, and our project gets created. In the navigation view, you can see it's an empty project, so I'm going to add some images. In my image view, if I hit the plus, I've already got a folder made up of a bunch of images, so I'm going to bring those all in. So I'll select everything and then hit open, and those are added to the project. So I can start adding content by just simply dragging it out onto the screen. And here, if I right click and go to resize, uh, I can fill container, and that puts the object at 00, zero and it's been sized to fit the screen. So I'm going to start renaming content in my application model. Uh, let's call this the button screen. Um, I'll call this button layer and the control is a background control so I'll just call this background and it's just good to stay organized. Now let's add our first button. So here's the go underscore up button. I'll drag that out and what I want to have happen is for that to switch to the go underscore down button when I press it. So I'm going to need an image swap when I click that button. So if I go down into my properties view on the right, I can add a variable. Um, so dynamic variable on my image. If I just create new variable and call this image. Um, I'll hit finish and call it anything you want, but image makes sense to me. And I should rename this control as well. So I'll call this uh, go underscore button BTN. And now I just need to do an action that's going to switch from the up state to the down state. So on press, I want a data change. And for the data change, I'm looking for this image variable that we just created. So I'll select that. And it wants to go from the up state. And now on this action, I want it to go to the down state. So it's going to switch between these two. So I'll select go underscore down, hit OK, and finish. Now that's good for pressing, but when I let go, I need to go back up to the view that we currently see. So I need another action for outbound and release. So I'm going to just select both of those, GRE outbound or GRE release both. Go to next and select data change again. And I'm going to choose that same variable for image on this control and just hit finish. And it's already pointing at go underscore up, so it's good to go. So let's take a look at that. I've got my three actions on press and release and outbound. I'm going to get the appropriate image swap. So I'm going to save and simulate and let's test that out to see how that button is working. So here's our go button on press, goes down, release, goes up, and the outbound it goes down and up. So now I want to work with the temperature button. So I'm going to drag Celsius onto the screen and I want that to toggle from Celsius to Fahrenheit and then Fahrenheit to Celsius when I press it. So here um, it's going to need another image variable so it can switch between one to the other uh, button. So I'll add new variable. Um, I'll just call this one image as well and hit finish and then on the left here, I'm just going to give it a name of temperature because it's going to be the Celsius temperature or the Fahrenheit temperature. I'll hit OK. And when I want to do a toggle like this, I'm going to need to write a Lua script. So on press, the action that we're looking for is a Lua script. And here it's going to ask for the function name. So I'm going to call this cb underscore toggle underscore press. And I'll hit finish. Now since I haven't written that yet, um, if I want to edit it, it's going to ask me if I want to create the function. So, yes. So in my function, I want to switch between Celsius to Fahrenheit. So I'm going to set up a local t underscore state um, zero. It's sort of like a starting point that I'm going to put outside my function. And here I'm just going to put in a table that will hold the value of whether or not it's Fahrenheit image or the Celsius image. So um, if t underscore state, now if that is zero, then what I want is the new t state, t underscore state equals one. And then I'll put in s data, and what I want is the path to the image variable. 
because that's what we're going to change. So if I right click on that image variable and go edit, copy path, I can paste that directly into my code, which is a real quick and easy way to, you know, get your content in there correctly. Um, and then I need that to equal its new value of Fahrenheit.png. So if I go to my image view and just do edit or right click copy path, um, I can paste that in. So and then I need to set up the alternative statement where it switches back to Celsius. So I'll put in else t state equals zero. And then I can use the same line above um, with the image path and the path to the variable. If I just paste that again and switch Fahrenheit.png to Celsius, uh, then I'm good to go. So I'll just take that out, switch it to Celsius. I need to close my function and, and don't forget to set the data. So gre.set underscore data and then for s data. And now I should tidy up my code a little bit. I'll put in some indentations um, just to keep everything neat and organized and I'll save that and we're good. So now that I've got my Lewis script set up to call my function and the function written, let's, um, let's test it out. So I'm gonna just uh, save and simulate and here's our Celsius button on press, it should go to Fahrenheit, great, and then back to Celsius and our up down button for the go button. So that is how to make a couple buttons in Storyboard Designer. See our Photoshop import video that shows how to create buttons automatically and visit cranksoftware.com to learn about templates that can help you add functionality to your project and save time. Thanks for watching.